guys. Last video we talked about possibly combining some chickens. Um, you can see we combined some chickens last night. We're gonna let them out this morning. But first we gotta get everybody fed. Let's get going. All right, we've got Josie fed. Let's check her out. She's doing great. But I'm sure more than just seeing her. Good morning, good morning. You wanna see her babies. Let's go in and see how they're doing. Good morning, little ones. Good morning. Everyone's doing good. Guys, stay tuned next video. We've got a crazy story about these piglets and the importance of having this bar up. We'll talk about that next video. This is the pen of chickens that we combined last night. Um, you can see why. We've got uh, a ragweed forest over here. Got a ragweed forest over there. We've got three fences around here. Um, and that is plenty of room for them. They'll get shade over here in the evening. We've got their water and feed put out already. Um, there's no males in here. These are the leghorns and amber lynx. Let's let them out real quick. And so a lot of the Novagens and the roosters have been going over into their pen anyway to start. So I figured this might not be a bad combination. Instead of putting all our birds together, let's just put these two groups together. So we'll get out the Novagens here. And believe it or not, the hens are usually the worst when it comes to a pecking order. There's our two roosters. Come on, y'all, it's over here. Here, tick, 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 tick. Maybe I should have waited to dump out the feed until uh, they were out. But it's gonna be a bunch of fresh new bugs here. A lot of new scratching to do. Come here, tick, 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 tick. Come on, come on, you foods right here. Come here. So we've got three separate water pans. And like I said, the hens are probably gonna be the ones that argue the most. Although, like I was saying, I also, the hens are the ones that have been going up over in their spot anyway, but this is plenty of room for these two groups. We'll get these baskets turned around. I'm sure we've already had eggs. We don't care what coop they decide to lay in it doesn't matter to us as long as we're getting eggs and the leghorns and amber lynx we've been getting about eight eggs per day which is pretty good we haven't been able to find any in the jungle of trees over there so we think we're getting them all but these guys have found this pile of food a couple of these hens have found that row of feed so I'm quite happy about this, but we're gonna go and check out, actually, we're gonna go and finish feeding the rest of the animals. The pigs see me over there and they are not happy that I'm sitting here talking about chickens when they haven't had their breakfast yet. So 
There is one more thing we want to do in this pen. We've got some automatic feeders that go into five gallon buckets. So we're gonna put some of those in here so we can uh, keep feed to them all the time. And hopefully that will cut down our chore time even more. So we'll get the rest of the animals fed and then we'll get up there and show you how to do these automatic feeders. Morning, mamas. Mamas have blown their coats. They're starting to grow back their hair. But one of these pigs is not like the other. What are you doing, sheep? We're gonna have to get her over. So this happened yesterday as well. Both sheep were over. It's not a big deal. Come on, sheep. Pigs don't mind the company. Come on, sheep. Good girl. Good girl. How come you didn't make it over? You can see, obviously, they can jump that fence. But they like to follow this feed bucket. So it's pretty easy. We just come over here, turn off the charge. That charger is running both of their fences. What did you, how, why did you get over there this morning? Oop, handle broke. Come on, sheep. It wasn't that bad. I'll just unhook this fence. Always harder with one hand. Open it up, grab our feed. Come on, come on, come on. Good girl, come on. Come on sheep, right here. Is that fence tangled? Come here sheep, come on. There you go, good girl, come on. Give them a little grain this morning to get her back in. Make our life much easier. There you go. I know the pig mamas don't mind you being over there, but let's stay on our side. Okay, we got the last group fed finally. These guys are doing good, the young gilts. We got Pepper and Chloe are both bred. So somewhere around October, November-ish, I think. But I'm gonna go and get my two pigs fed. Just kidding, Brooklyn and Isaiah need to eat breakfast. I need to eat breakfast. And we'll get out and get those automatic feeders going. All right, breakfast is done. Uh, we are gonna make these DIY poultry feeders. Jamie had gotten these for me a while back now and just finally getting around to making them. We normally just throw feed out on the ground, but hopefully this is gonna help us cut down on chores. Um, all you need is your five gallon buckets with lids. Uh, Mother-in-law got those for me a long time ago just because we're always using buckets. So we're gonna take these and use them for our feeders just need a drill and this kit actually comes with a hole saw three inch hole saw um, bit i guess and so we're going to put that on uh super simple you're just going to make a line three inches up from the bottom drill your hole in there these come with gaskets and screw on caps uh, we'll put those on and uh, fill these buckets up and hopefully we'll uh, knock down our chore time quite a bit so we do have a link for these on our Amazon affiliate down in the comments or down in the description of the video. If you're interested in something like that, uh, go ahead and click on that and we appreciate you helping support our small channel. I'm gonna put this camera down and uh, let's get to work. that easy we've got one in uh, I'm gonna put four or five around here since we've got so many chickens out there
that was pretty easy. Five minutes, we've got two five gallon automatic feeders. I didn't think you'd be able to get five in there, but they actually go in quite easy. They also come with these caps that if you're getting some mice or anything, you can seal them off. They don't screw in, they just slide right in and you can cover those holes at night if that's something you're worried about if you're getting mice or anything little in there um, eating your feed. So next we're gonna fill these up and uh, take these out. The only other thing is they say to set them six to 10 inches off the ground. Obviously your chickens aren't gonna lay down and eat. So you want them up a little higher so they can just get their heads right in there and get the feed. I'm gonna use two uh, cinder blocks to get them up for now. Um, we'll fill these up with feed and take them out to the chickens. Okay, well, we were wondering. I figured the chickens would find it, but I didn't realize they'd find it this soon. And then we were thinking it was too high, but it's not too high, it's perfect. So chickens are very uh, inquisitive animals. And so they're already finding the feed. I am excited about these. Maybe one day we'll be able to go on a vacation <laughs> without having to hire somebody to come watch the animals, but yeah the leghorns have found it the uh nova ginger seem to be kind of scared of the leghorns not sure why but i think this has worked out perfect um i am excited to and i know this guy and his sister are excited to only make one stop mm -hmm. instead of two stops but pretty sure these birds know which coop is theirs if they go into one and not both it's not a big deal but excited about these feeders i will not have to bring feed out here obviously you want to keep checking these buckets just to make sure they have stuff in it but they're only going to that one not this one yeah maybe they think this one's better but anyway really excited about these guys and the thing about chickens they don't waste anything if food falls out of there they pick it up really liking these leghorns we did a video about the leghorns i could see us with a big flock of leghorn chickens with those big old combs they just have quite yeah, like their floppy combs. <laughs> yeah we like the floppy combs it gives them personality they look kind of goofy and they don't eat a lot but they're great egg layers so we're excited about them that one right there looked offended when you said they look goofy yeah look at her floppy comb but Anyway, we did this, guys. Um, I've been looking for a trailer to build a large um, chicken egg mobile that we can put all of our chickens into. But right now, I mean, you don't really make any money on chickens selling eggs. They hardly cover their cost, but we're not really in it for that. We're in it for eggs for us, for their fertilizer, for them scratching and getting bugs. I so I can smell like a pig. Smell pig? Yeah. yeah. So the chickens serve more more of a purpose than just trying to make money but it is nice when you can sell eggs and help pay for that feed they so huh they found this one. Oh, they found the other one yeah so we'll figure out what these novagens are up to they seem like they're scared of these leghorns but nobody's had any arguments we are getting some eggs already this morning and uh we will keep looking. I mean, my, my ultimate goal is an egg mobile, but uh, for I, the cheapest I could find was like about $900. And then that was for an empty trailer. And then I'd have to build the chicken coop. So maybe in the future we'll do an egg mobile, but I think we can uh, do this and just have our, might as well use these chick shaws that we built. We paid money for them and they work just fine for housing. We'll move them every morning when we come out. So they're on a fresh spot and all the manure is not in one place. So it's fertilizing everything for us. But this has worked out good. The only thing I have left to do is mow down the ragweed jungles. So we're going to get the tractor. We're going to knock that down. Knock this one down. It's not going to take years. That's the point of the bush hog. So like ragweeds are taller and sizzy yeah. <laughs> yeah well they won't be tall for long but 
awesome to see that these are working guys if you haven't already make sure you follow us along on facebook and instagram and don't forget to make the change all right we'll see you guys on the next video